<clears throat> Good evening, guys. Good evening, teacher. Hello, guys. How are you doing today? Fine, guys? Teacher. Fine, teacher. Good morning, rain. Yes, yes, it's raining, so I don't know if you guys can hear me fine because it's raining here. So there may be some some background noise, maybe. I, I don't know if you can uh, you guys can hear me fine. No sé si me pueden yes, escuchar teacher. bien, guys. Yes, teacher. Uh, yes, teacher. I hear you fine. Okay, awesome. Thank you, guys. Yes. I was just a little concerned about that because it's raining really hard. So I didn't have, I didn't, I didn't want it to have like a bad connection with you guys. That's good. All right. Well, so well, uh, thank you guys for being here again. I really appreciate all of you. Thank you for coming one more time. So, okay. Bear with me a moment, guys. There we go. <clears throat> all right thank you guys so all right so yesterday we were talking about the present continuous we were talking about how to make plans using the present continuous right that is what we discussed yesterday so i feel like yesterday we didn't have enough time to practice everything that we were supposed to practice so for today, we are going to continue with that topic. I'm going to show you uh, the different type of sentences that we can make. And also, we are going to practice again, OK? So that is what we're going to do today, guys. So I can see that you guys, uh, you, look, you look really good today. Because yesterday, it seemed like you guys didn't want to, like, you didn't have, like, <laughs> Too much, too much energy, but today I can see that you guys are doing really good. So how is your day going today, guys? I'm feeling so good, teacher. Come on. So the start, I'm feeling so good, so they started practice. Excellent. Yesterday I am sick, but I'm, now <laughs> I am, I'm here. I remember. I remember that, Anna. Yes, I remember that yesterday you looked I'm tired. Sorry. Yes. You looked tired yesterday. It looks, it looks like you had to work really hard because yes. you look like, like you didn't have too much energy. But today yes. you're looking good. Yes. Great. Awesome. All right. So. All right. So can somebody tell me what we talked about yesterday does anybody remember the information that we checked yesterday let's see if somebody can remember what we said yesterday last night mm -hmm. yesterday practice um request and uh, about tell and ask. Yes, that is correct. Yes, Nadia, thank you. So yesterday we talked about, well, we were talking about the present continuous. We practice. Uh, there was a little conversation between two people and we practice that conversation. Okay, we, we worked in couples and you guys practice between, uh, between each other, right? So, right, so today, guys, we're going to continue with that. I don't know if you guys have any questions at this point, anything that you guys want to say. I think that we are just missing just two more classes. I think it's going to be just 
uh, tomorrow and then the day after tomorrow. And after that, I think that that is going to be it. Yep. So, well, I just want to thank you guys for being here. I think that most of you, well, I think that almost everybody is always here for the class. So that is really good. I really appreciate that. So I'm going to share the presentation you, with you teacher. guys. Thank, Thank you, you, teacher, for the information. By the way, I am thinking uh, today is the last class, but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, todavía falta, todavía falta. Pero, eh, Yo pensé que ayer era la última. Me <laughs> que me mandaron un mensaje diciendo que tenemos que terminar la plataforma. No sé si solo a mí me lo mandaron o a todos. Y decía que antes de la última clase y me, dijeron, me dieron fecha de ahora. Entonces pensé ah. que la última clase era ayer. <laughs> no, no, todavía tenemos esta semana. Okay. Pero... Thank you, teacher. Perdón, Jacqueline. Me too. A mí también. ¿A usted también le enviaron la, el mensaje? Yes. yes. Sí, incluso ahora me llamaron. Así una llamada por teléfono. Me hicieron que tenía que terminar eh, la plataforma porque tenían que sacar las notas a más tardar ahora en la tarde. ¿En serio? Sí. Sí, bueno, eso so... me afligió a mí, pero yo pensé que pensé a la última clase y pensé que era ayer. Ya entiendo. Bueno. Este, vamos a intentar avanzar con los temas, ¿verdad? Veo que a varios, eh, nadie dice que también a ella. Entonces, vamos a intentar avanzar, tratar de cubrir todos los temas para que ustedes no tengan problema con eso. Sí, realmente yo pensé que teníamos hasta el jueves, eso es lo que yo pensé. Pero si tienen hasta ahora o no sé, vamos a intentar avanzar, ¿verdad? Ok, guys, so I'm going to share the presentation with you. Uh, just bear with me for a moment here. <clears throat> All right, so today, guys, we're going to continue with this. Yesterday, we were talking about the present continuous. We're going to continue with the same topic because we just uh, did like an introduction to the information that we had. But today, we're going to study the different kind of sentences and the different forms that we have for this. So, okay, let me see. I, can, I think that we can just skip the objectives. This is what we talked about yesterday. And we were saying yesterday that the present continuous is something that you guys can use. So you can talk about something that is happening uh, in the present and you can also use it so you can talk about something that is going to take place in the near future. Like, uh, I am making dinner tonight, for example. That would be an example of something that is going to happen in the future, in the near future, right? So, and we also had these uh, time expressions, all right? We had this little calendar. We have this calendar with Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, okay? Monday represents the present, it represents today. And we said that we have different um, times during the day, like we have this morning, this afternoon, also the evening and tonight, okay? And then we also say that, uh, for example, in this example, Tuesday is tomorrow, and then the day after, is the day after tomorrow, all right? So those are some of the time expressions that we can use so we can talk about future plans. Like I am buying shoes tomorrow. They are cleaning the house on Friday, not today. Janet's meeting bill at five this afternoon. Okay, y bueno guys, eh, como les estaba mencionando en la clase anterior, eh, tenemos diferentes preposiciones de tiempo, ¿correcto? Por ejemplo, cuando nosotros decimos un día, como el viernes, un día en específico, eh, utilizamos la preposición on, ¿de acuerdo? Y cuando decimos una hora en específico, vamos a utilizar at. Okay, for example, you say Janet's meeting bill at five this afternoon. Yes, Nadia, yes, please go ahead. Teacher, I have a question. Yes. What What do you say antier and in English? And antier, okay. 
Very good question, yes. So uh, you say the day before yesterday, if I'm not mistaken, because uh, yesterday is ayer, and then you said ante, ante ayer, digamos, sería the day before yesterday, yes. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome, Nadia. All right, so like I was saying, guys, uh, if you talk about a specific time, then you need to use at, okay? Janet is meeting Bill at five o'clock this afternoon. Or Janet is meeting Bill at noon. That will be at a specific time, okay? <clears throat> so, and we also said, let me just um, move on here. So we also have these different time expressions that I share with you guys. Like for the present, we also have time expressions for the future, like tomorrow, the next week, next month, next year, in an hour, the day after, and also nowadays. Eh, bueno, eso era para tiempo presente, correcto? Bueno, y estábamos diciendo ayer que nuestra, nuestra estructura iba a ser la siguiente, cuando nosotros habláramos del presente continuo, ¿de acuerdo? Presente continuo, guys. Es el sujeto más el verbo to be. ¿Qué okay, sujeto puede ser un nombre o un, o un pronombre? Como en estos casos, pronombres. Okay, I, you, he, she, it, they, and we. Then the present, uh, then the verb to be, like am, is, and are. And after that, you use the verb in the ing form, like this. So I am answering emails, okay? So you can say, I am busy this morning, I am answering emails until, oh, well, I don't know, <clears throat> until 11. Acuerdo, entonces, <clears throat> Sorry guys, I'm sorry about that. Okay, so then we have the next example. I have the next example, uh, number two, and it says, he's leaving in 10 minutes, okay? So he is leaving in 10 minutes. Okay, y guys, aquí también tenemos diferentes reglas, correcto? Por ejemplo, acá, el verbo termina con la letra E, okay? Cuando el verbo termina con la letra E y la letra final, digamos, no es una letra que tenga un sonido, nosotros re retiramos la letra E y lo reemplazamos con ING, ¿ok? So, tenemos también reglas, al igual que con eh, las que hemos visto anteriormente, con los adjetivos. Eh, tenemos otro ejemplo, por ejemplo, take, ¿ok? Quitamos la, la E y agregamos ING. So, I am taking the bus back home today. Voy a tomar el autobús a casa el día de hoy. Okay? <clears throat> Ese sería otro ejemplo, otro verbo, ¿verdad? Y también tenemos eh, otros verbos como... <coughs> Let me see. Eh, por ejemplo, verbos de este tipo, como fly. ¿Ok? Y en el caso de fly, sería de la siguiente forma. Uh, en el caso de fly, eh, pues lo que hacemos es que agregamos simplemente ing. ¿De acuerdo? Termina con la letra, con la letra Y, pero en este caso, pues agregamos solamente ing. Hay verbos, por ejemplo, eh, como poner, que son eh, al igual que los adjetivos. Si ustedes recuerdan, teníamos adjetivos que eran de una sílaba y eran consonante, vocal y consonante. ¿Qué es lo que hacíamos? Duplicábamos la vocal, la consonante, perdón, y luego agregábamos, por ejemplo, en el caso de los adjetivos, er, pero en el caso de los verbos, duplicamos la consonante y agregamos ing. 
¿ok? Para este caso, verbos de una sílaba que terminan de, que tienen esta forma, consonante, vocal, consonante. Entonces, esto es por mostrarles algunos ejemplos. Tenemos diferentes tipos de verbos y hay diferentes reglas, ¿de acuerdo? Pero para la mayoría, solamente es el, el verbo y agregamos eh, ing, como en el caso de it. ¿Ok? En este caso, ustedes ven, it es una, un verbo solamente de una sílaba, pero no es del tipo que acabamos de ver anteriormente, que es, perdón, ahí está. Eh, no es consonante, vocal, consonante, sino que es consonante, consonante, vocal. Entonces, solamente agregamos ING. ¿Ok? Y de esa forma, guys. Eh, esas serían como las reglas más básicas. ¿De acuerdo? No sé si tienen alguna pregunta, alguna duda, guys, con respecto a esto. Do you have any question, guys, about this? No questions. All right, so if you don't have any questions, then uh, we are going to practice just a little bit, okay? So let me just show you something, and I need your help. I will need your help, guys, so you can tell me, so you can help me uh, to fill in an exercise, okay? We have, we have a calendar here. Let me go back. Okay, so this is what we need to do. We have this agenda. Okay, we have this agenda. As you can see, we have uh, this person has different activities for different days. For example, on Monday at 11 a.m., she is meeting her mom for lunch at the mall. Okay, and then between 1 p.m. and 5 p.m., she is going to be working. Okay, then we have Tuesday, Wednesday, we also have we also have Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So she's doing different things during the, during the week. Entonces, lo que vamos a hacer aquí, guys, es que ustedes, bueno, vamos a analizar, vamos a analizar esta agenda que está acá en la pantalla, y en base a esta información que tiene para cada día, nosotros vamos a rellenar estos espacios que están acá. Vamos a ver, la primera parte dice, Today is Monday, February the 12th. Marisa is meeting her mom. She's meeting her mom at the mall and she is working. ¿De acuerdo? Entonces, Marisa está, eh, se va a encontrar con su mamá y también va a trabajar. ¿De acuerdo? Son cosas que ya están planeadas porque están en una agenda. Y eso es lo que nosotros el uso que, que nosotros vamos a darle al presente continuo, en este caso, ¿de acuerdo? De planes, cosas que ya están eh, decididas con anticipación. Ok, then it says, tomorrow she, y tenemos acá, ¿qué es lo que va a hacer ella el día de mañana? El día 13. Is meeting. Uh -huh. Ok. So, tomorrow She is meeting. Perdón, perdón, acá es así. <coughs> so, tomorrow. Uh, I'm sorry, yes, I'm sorry. I apologize. Yeah, it was. Uh, sí, aquí sería. Aquí sería. Is meeting. Tomorrow she is meeting uh, Sandy. <coughs> Okay, so tomorrow she is meeting Sandy and, oh no, 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 no. Okay, let's go back. Work. As you work. can see. Uh, she works. Tomorrow she works. She's working. working. Yes, working. she is working. Yes, because as you can see the, the next part, it says, and at 5.30, she, and then we have Maybe. Sandy. Is meeting. Okay. Is so meeting. Como, como sería? Is meeting. Meeting Sandy. Is meeting Sandy at the city bookstore. Okay. So it says tomorrow she is working. 
and at 5.30, she is meeting Sandy at the city bookstore. Okay, very good, very good, guys. Then let's continue. It says, the day after tomorrow, she, okay, el siguiente working. día. She's the line. She's working. She's working. She's working. Working. Oh, yes, she's working. Yes. Working. And she's calling at what o'clock? She is calling her time. At PM. At one PM. Okay, so then uh, the day after tomorrow, she is working, and then she is calling, she is calling her dad. Como? She is calling. Yes, very good. Yes, she is calling her dad. Her dad. Yes. De acuerdo, entonces Sandy eh, el día después de mañana estará trabajando, va a estar trabajando y va a llamar a su papá a la una, a la una en punto, ¿correcto? Luego dice, then on Thursday morning, ok, el jueves en la mañana, ¿qué es lo que va a hacer ella? She is doing the laundry. She is doing the laundry. The laundry. Very good. Yes, guys. That is correct, guys. Yes. So, sí, en este caso sería el jueves en la mañana. Ella está lavando la ropa. ¿De acuerdo? And then it says at 3:30 she is going to Chinese class. She is going to Chinese class. Excellent guys. Yes. Teacher, y ahí sería going to o sería uh, going to go. Uh, lo puede decir de las dos formas, la verdad. Sí, puede decir, she's going to Chinese class or she's going to go to the Chinese class. You can say in the both ways, I think. Yes. Okay. Ambos serían válidos, sí. Okay, luego dice, and later, and she... Me. Sorry? She's meeting to James. She's meeting James. James. Very good. Yeah. Very good, guys. We are almost done, okay? We're just missing just a few more. All right, so the next one. Teacher, <clears throat> falta el is. Ah, excelente. Muchas gracias. Sí. Tiene razón. Falta. Y she, hay que quitarle yeah. James porque dice her brother James. Solo sería is meeting. Muy bien. Muchas gracias. Tiene razón. She is meeting her brother James at Rossini's restaurant. Muchas gracias. Sí, ¿Y tiene en la razón. anterior? Uh -huh. Teacher, no sé si en la anterior también. Ah, oh, sí, tiene razón. Tiene razón. Perdón. Muchas gracias. Tiene razón. Acá. Tiene que llevar siempre el verbo to be, correcto. Perdón ahí, guys, que se me había escapado. Muchas gracias por estar pendientes. Very good. Okay, then it says, on Friday, Marisa is, ¿verdad? Is, no tenemos que olvidarlo, no sean como yo. Eh, Marisa is working, right? She is working. De acuerdo, entonces, el viernes, Marisa... Va a estar trabajando de las 9 a las 12. From 9 to 12. Okay? And then it says, after work. She's taking the she, bus to Colin's house. She's taking 
the bus. bus. Very good. Mm -hmm. Very good. She's taking the bus to Colin's house. Ella está tomando el autobús para casa de Colin. ¿De acuerdo? Tenemos acá un, un posesivo, un nombre posesivo. A la casa de Colin, ¿verdad? Ok, then it says, eh, Colin and Marisa is making the are making. Are making. Mm -hmm. Correcto. Are making dinner together. Remember, guys, when you say, uh, when you want to say like making food or making dinner, is make. Okay, that is the verb that you guys need to use. Okay, so then it says, finally, the weekend. Finally, the weekend. Okay. So on Saturday, Marisa is going. Is doing exercise. Is doing exercise. Uh -huh. De acuerdo, entonces eh, María is Marisa is doing exercise. Correcto. Marisa is doing exercise in the park. Ok. En el parque con Sara. Esa, esa noche. Ok. A las 7. She is. Going to the concert with the song. Going to the concert. De acuerdo. Ella va a ir al concierto. With the Scott. Con Scott. De acuerdo. Yeah. Dice luego, on Sunday, she studying. is studying. Studying, yes. Así, ¿verdad? Le agregamos ING. Ok, guys. Is studying. Yes, right, right. I'm sorry. She is studying. Ok, let me change it. Oh, just a moment, guys. No quiere ser corregida. <laughs> Perdón, guys. Permítame un instante. Voy a cambiarlo acá. Vamos a ir por aquí. Ahí está. Vaya, she is starting, right? Okay, and then we're just missing just two more, two more spaces. So then he says, she, okay. and then let's see, yes, she's cleaning. Oh, okay. In this case, here, we need to say, she is doing, ella estará haciendo, ella va a hacer dos cosas importantes. Primero dice, she is starting. Starting. She's starting. starting. For her driving test. And okay. Ella está estudiando training. para su prueba de conducir. In after. Y después. She is cleaning the she kitchen. Cleaning. Mm -hmm. Oh, perdón. Acá. Es. ¿Verdad? She is cleaning. Y acá es con una N nada más. Uh -huh. De acuerdo. Entonces ahí estaría completado, guys. Eso sería muy bien. Oh, man. 